Espresso coffee tastes mighty good. That's not the reason why I gotta get back up to that sugar shack. Hey everybody, Jim Tedesco here. Millennium County Railroad Virgin 2.0. <laughs> Got a haircut too, see that? <laughs> Had to go down to Naples yesterday because the barbers up here kind of suck. <laughs> So I went down there to get one. Anyway, this is a, a mail call, again. Uh, I think it may be the last one for a while, I hope. Uh, actually, I got a few small things coming, but nothing of consequence. But these are kind of big items, and I really wanted to show them. So without any further ado, or possibly even interruptions from Pogo, <laughs> we're going to see what we got in the mail. Stand by. All righty. We got two boxes here. The first one, which I think is more pertinent to our hobby, I saw this advertised on uh, one of my YouTube videos. It was an advertisement, and I thought I really need one of these. And the reason being is because I have a cheap one here. That I got from Walther's. Paid twenty-four dollars for it, and as far as I'm concerned, I got ripped off. Compared to this one, this is the way to go. Now, this is really nice. It comes with a strap if you want to use it. And it also goes on your face like a pair of glasses. Now, it also, this is a rechargeable one. I paid 40 bucks for this, but I'll tell you what, it's well worth the money. A, it has a light. It has five interchangeable lenses. And you just snap right in place. They should probably show that better, huh? You take them and they snap right in place. And then, put it right on your head. If I get my face in there somehow. Uh, hold on a minute. <laughs> ah, too low. Hold on. <laughs> okay, there we go. And you got a button up here. Somewhere. Turns the light on. And it's different brightnesses. So it's really cool. And of course, like I said, you got five interchangeable lenses. You can't go wrong with this thing. And if you're like me and you're getting up in age and your eyes aren't worth a shit anymore, <laughs> you might want to get one of these because realistically, it's the way to go. And like I said, it was it was thirty nine ninety nine with shipping and all. Comes with five assorted different power lenses, which is nice. Hey, I got now they have a battery operated one. I think it was like five dollars cheaper, but it's really just not worth it. Comes with a uh, a USB cable to recharge it. There's a handy strap you can use if you don't want to use the arms. You take the arms off and just use a strap instead. Comes with a little cleaning cloth, like big deal, right? <laughs> but they come in handy. So, and all that for, like I said, $39.99. And I'm not a salesman. I'm, I'm not representing the company or anything. I'm basically just showing you what I got. And I think this thing is great. And it's, uh, it's adjustable, too. So you can, you can set it up however you want to do it. I mean, there's all kinds of adjustments on this thing. And I'll tell you what, it's it's a great idea because let me let me show you the cheap one that I got from from Walters. And you tell me which is a better deal. Mr. Pogo, it's Mr. Pogo getting under my feet. I hope I don't trip and fall on you. That would be bad. Alright, <laughs> this is the one I got from Walters, $24, no light, cheap plastic, comes with three interchangeable lenses, but they're very small in comparison, and this thing is very cumbersome to wear, I don't like it, I've used it because like I said, my sight isn't worth a damn anymore, but this is the way to go, so if anybody's interested, it's made by... Yeah, somewhere here. Vision Aid. 
And I think you can go to visionaid.com and they have they have different versions up there. You know, like I said I bought the $39.99 one. You can also get two pairs for like fifty nine dollars. I don't know why you'd want two. Uh, they have the battery opera ones a little cheaper. But for my for my money, I think the rechargeable is the way to go. Uh, I'm kind of big on bit on rechargeable stuff, so. But anyway, I'll be making great use of this because I'll tell you, I just can't see the, the finer detail work anymore. It's just getting, you know, my eyes just aren't as good as they used to be. That unfortunately is the pitfalls of growing old, of which some of you may already well know. <laughs> and those who haven't, you will, trust me. <laughs> so, on to the second box. Bradford Exchange. I don't know how many people are, you guys are familiar with this, but they sell, um, like, uh, anniversary stuff and uh, specialty items. And I saw this and I said, you know what, I'm going to get it. It was really overpriced for what it is. But it's, it's DCC, believe it or not. It's uh, an F7A. And it's the Trump locomotive. Now, I don't like to inject politics into this, so I'm not going to go too briefly into it, but I did vote for Trump. I like Trump. And I wish he were still in there because anything's better than the moron we got in there now. But this is pretty cool. I paid $98 for it. Like I said, I think it's a little overpriced for what it is. It is DCC. I think it has sound. I'm not sure. I haven't even put this on the track yet to find out which I guess I should do here. So why don't we hold on a second. I'll be right back. We'll put it on the test track and see what we can do. All right, we're back. And I just checked it. It's not DCC, so they lied. <laughs> it's DC. It's pretty generic. I could probably put a... Um, a uh, decoder card in there with sound and DCC in there, which would be kind of cool. So for the most part, this is just going to be a static engine then. Um, pretty basic. Uh, I, don't, I, think it was, I don't think it was worth $98. <laughs> Maybe it was, I don't know. I mean, it's still pretty cool. Got a picture of Donald Trump on there. And uh, what is it saying? I think I'll get my glasses and read it. 45th president of the United States. Yeah, that's nice. Now they have a bunch of other cards to go with it, which I had never planned on getting anyway. And I'm sure they're the same price. <laughs> so this is this is all I really wanted for now. But I'll tell you what, I won't fall for that one again. I mean, it, it said right on the thing, DCC. It did say sound, so I didn't expect it to have sound, but I was hopeful. But this is not DCC. It's straight up DC. Uh, like I said, I could put a I could put a decoder in there and change that, and I probably will down the road. Since I've never done that before, and it'll be a fun thing to try. So that's it for the mail call. Nothing fancy. Uh, let's see, do I have any? I have one more thing to show you. I have to reposition the camera for that. Hang on. All right, I uh, made this with my laser engraver the other day. The Sugar Shack on it, and it's got a Picture of number 148, the steam loco for the uh, U.S. Sugar. Came out really nice. And I tried something different. I actually painted the wood first and then burnt it afterwards. And it came out really nice. So that's it. That's all I got to show for now. So as always, let me zoom out here. <laughs> as always, keep it on the rails. And we'll see you real soon. Thank you for watching and uh, like and subscribe if you want. And we'll see you again next time. Bye.